Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be bypassing our BMS on a stock Talari battery here. We did a tutorial on our Suron way back in the day, how to bypass that BMS, and now we're doing the bypass BMS on the Talaria. I should be able to pull uh, around 8,000 watts safely from this, or uh, if you're running a KO controller, you can set it to 130 amps max. Be sure if you guys plan on bypassing your BMS, watch the whole video. I'm gonna make it uh, as informative as possible because I want everyone to be safe, but it is it does come with uh, risks, especially as you're bypassing the BMS. You're essentially not, you're, you're taking away the ability for the battery to tell the cells to stop discharging. So you can over discharge this when you bypass your battery. So you do, while you're riding, have to pay attention to what percentage your battery is at. And if it gets close to zero, it's time to bring it in because you're gonna damage the cells because the cells, the, the, the battery is still gonna pull power from the cells. Another thing with bypassing your BMS is that um, there's a thing called voltage sag. So voltage sag is when I'm pulling 8,000 watts, but the voltage of the pack overall sags. So as you get closer to zero, don't pull as much. Like don't have wide open throttle when you're getting close to zero because your voltage is gonna sag way below like a safe level. But yeah, no, if you want a power upgrade and you don't wanna buy, you know, like a $3,000 battery, this is an easy way to wake up your bike. It's about 50% more power. So if you can monitor your battery c consistently and just make sure it doesn't get too close to zero, then you should be fine. So guys, as long as you understand the risks and that I'm not responsible for anything that you guys mess up. So let's get into bypassing this BMS.
Okay, so guys, I hope you can see this now. I am running a KO controller on the bike, so I'm gonna go into my motor specifications, and I have it set, oh, it's just a default setting, but we're gonna go to power settings. 800 phase amps is way too much, so I'm gonna go 500, one, I'll just do 125 for the amps. So the 125 amps, uh, I believe that's 750 watts. So we're gonna hit save and then confirm. All right, and then that is it. So that's how to bypass your BMS. All right, so that's the BMS bypass. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Next video, we're gonna be running some test runs. Be sure to stay tuned on the 13th of August. I'll be down in Tennessee. We're gonna be taking this to the TKO Hard Enduro AMA partnered with Electric Cycle Rider and they're having the inaugural electric bike class. So be sure to check that out. Red Bull is gonna be streaming it. There's gonna be a bunch of e-bikes there. It's gonna be freaking sick. I'm really excited. Anyway guys, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I'll see you in the next one.